What's going on everyone? I am me, you are you, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where we have a bit of a uh, predicament on our hands. As you can see, we no longer have an exosuit, so uh, yeah. I think, uh, if you remember that weird audio bug we had at the end of last episode, I think that was our exosuit getting destroyed. I can't confirm that, uh, but that's my best guess. Yeah, so uh, we now need to get to the sea truck 985 meters away. With, uh, let's see, what are we, yeah, with basically one and a half minutes of oxygen. Which is, uh, it's, it, it's, I'm not gonna lie, that's, uh, that's tight. That's, uh, that's gonna be pretty tough. That's, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that's even doable. We do have one hope. And that is uh, if we can get a bladder fish along the way. Because I think they give you oxygen if you eat them raw. But yeah, so basically we need a bladder fish somewhere along the way. Or else uh, I'm not sure we can do this. In other news, I've uh, learned that there are... I've learned that there are uh, actually, you know, two shadow leviathans in this area. So, yeah, that's something we get to deal with. Yeah, there's, um, there's one of them up there. I don't know where the other one is. But there are two of them, so that is great. Yeah. Alright, so. I think the best way to go for this is to uh, just sort of, uh, well, you know, go for it, basically. And just uh, hope we get lucky. Very, very lucky. Alright. Ready. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. You would be right on top of me, wouldn't you? Okay, just keep going. Ignore him. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to eat me, I guess. Yeah, okay. Ow, you actually did eat me. Not very kind of you. You're going to try eat me now as well, aren't you, I bet? Or did I avoid you? I think I avoided you, which is nice. We need a bladderfish. That is our best chance of getting through this. Slight bump is going to cost me. It's fine. We're making good time. Is that... <gasps> bladderfish! Bladderfish, bladderfish, bladderfish. Yep, thank you. I'll need you in a minute. Another one. Oh, yes. Okay. We might actually be able to do this. We might be able to do this, actually. Those two bladderfish actually probably did save our lives. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's just see if we can get there without them out of curiosity. Do, do, do. Can we? It's close. There's a shadow leviathan somewhere next to me. And we <sighs> definitely... Oxygen. Oh, no. oh no. Stop attacking please. I need to eat a bladder fish. Hey -ah. Okay. Yeah. We might... Okay, wow, yeah. The bladderfish just saved our lives. So, thank you for that bladderfish. Oxygen. Your friend can go and be set free. Nutrient block, not you. We actually made it. I don't think we could have done that without the help of the bladderfish. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. I didn't think we'd actually do that. That's incredible. Good stuff. Thank you for that mechanic, Subnautica devs. Wow. Okay. That was a, a very close call. We probably would have blacked out if um, we didn't have that extra oxygen. It's a good thing those guys are down here. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good. Now what? Ah, yes. I wanted to explore this area a bit more. Because there has to be more than um, the... This place is pretty big. There's got to be more to it than just, uh, you know, a way to get to the Fabricator Caverns, which is what the Red Crystal area is called. 
There's gotta be something else around here. It's a big place. In fact, this looks particularly dense in crystals. What do we got over here? Is this something? This might actually be something. What is this? Uh, oh no, wait, no, wait, wait, what? It's not just a crater. Wait, is it just a crater? There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. <laughs> well, apparently we came the right way. Good stuff. Okay, this... Okay, okay, okay. Always go towards the large crystal formations. What have we got down here, then? There's no more... Shadow Leviathan is down here, is there? Because this is a pretty tight spot. With a... A lot of different ways to go, actually. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We might be building a body this episode. Also, I just want to say that uh, our first exosuit, while it may be gone, it served us very well. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. It did good. Okay, we're making good progress. And there's a waterfall, kind of. More of a leak. Anyway. What have we got over here? Just walking along. That looks interesting, right there. Whoa. You guys seeing this? Yeah, you've seen this a lot. I'm guessing you're not that interested now. Wait, so, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. <laughs> okay. I think we I think we I think we're building a body this episode. I'm actually kind of excited. Let's go do that now. No waiting around. I actually, yeah, okay, this this should be this should be interesting. What do we need? I think we can do all that. Let's get straight back to the base. No waiting around, no time to waste. Let's move. Let's go go go. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great! What's next? Let's get you out of my head. Do you remember the fabrication facility? You must return there. Right. The fabrication facility. So you always planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. All of my people were not invited. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. 
Return to the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Interesting stuff. So Alan, uh, he's uh, he's not telling us ever everything. I don't know. Yeah, Alan's not telling us everything, and uh, well, I wonder why. Basically, what's he? What's he? What's he not saying? You know. I don't know. To be honest, my my, my mind is kind of elsewhere right now because uh, I didn't expect us to find that last component so easily. I'm also going to pick up that kyanite because, you know, uh, there's every chance I'm literally one short. Anyway, yeah, so, okay, so the storyline's definitely picking up, and I'm kind of wondering where the rest of the architects are, and what happened after they found the vaccine. But, uh, whatever, you know, story for another day, or maybe later in this episode, I don't know yet. Let's get out of here and return back to base. By the way, I kind of feel like we're approaching, uh, you know, end game stuff. And if we are, there's a few other things I want to do first. Like, uh, you know, there was like that rover thing with the Leviathan. What the? Ah. You do not? Yeah, I mean, maybe you do know how much that made me jump just then. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, lovely. Gross. Nasty. Okay, we gotta go back down and uh, do some repairs. But as I was saying, yeah, there's some stuff I wanna do. Like, uh, I know there's more to do with the frozen Leviathan here, so I wanna try to figure out what's going on with all that before we do whatever is next. Now, I gotta find the way out of here. Okay, we're back at base. Now, I get the impression that we are very close to uh, end game, basically. And like I said a moment ago, there's a couple things I want to do first before that. The biggest thing is I want to see what else there is to do with the frozen Leviathan. Because if I recall from uh, one of the PDA entries somewhere or other, I don't know, it's somewhere in here, but I remember... Um, there was a conversation between um, Sam and uh, Marguerite. And basically, Sam said that she hid the antidote in a cave somewhere or something like that. Uh, on the uh, In the Arctic biome. And basically, I think we need to find that antidote and then use that mini rover thing to, uh, well, do something or other. I'm guessing cure the frozen Leviathan. So yeah, that's the first thing I want to do. I also want to try and find the uh, thumper while we're over there, so just so uh, you know, just so we can have a look at it, see what it does. So let's uh, stock up on some supplies and, well, basically head over there. Let's get a move on. But first, there's something I want to do, which is of the utmost importance: build a fridge, because uh, I've never used the fridge. Where do we put it? Yeah, it works, I suppose. Perfect. A <laughs> fridge. Yeah, no, I just wanted to build one. I just thought it was cool. Anyway, let's go to uh, the Arctic biome. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Cool birds. Hey, does the snow fox keep me warm? If it does, that's cool. Nice. I did not know that. Very useful. Very useful. Also, I feel like I recognize this site. I remember coming here back in, uh, back in early access. Is this where we get the thumper? <laughs> it so is. Awesome. New blueprint synthesized. I didn't think it'd be that easy. Cool. Yeah, no, okay. Literally, all I did is... So, when we first came here, we took a 
a right turn. This time I just took a uh, this time I just took a left turn across the bridge, and here we are. Sweet. Okay. These bumpers are stopgap solution. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Send us more batteries, a little more juice along the way. Would go a long way. Respectfully, Omar and the Delta Crew. Nice. Okay, yeah, cool. Also, I think the Snow Fox keeps us warm, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, no. So, when we first came here, we went right across the bridge. This time, we just took a left. And here we are. I hate exploring these tunnels. They're marvels to the power of the ice worms. I knew the ice worms made these tunnels. Anyway, so this is basically, yeah, this is just saying, yeah. Ice worms are powerful. We don't like working here. What do we got here? Some titanium. More titanium. Ooh, silver. Silver. More silver. I'll take silver. And a bit of copper, apparently. Ooh, maybe not that much, though. Thing is, I know we do need one magnetite from somewhere. Okay. I can't, yeah, so we need the uh, we need the magnetite to basically build the bumper. As you can see from this recipe. Magnetite. Aha! Magnetite! Perfect. Is there any more while we're here? Yes, there is. Okay, good stuff. Let's go build that bumper. Nice, nice, nice. Used by miners and researchers to explore perilous environments, the thumper creates a steady source of noise that might repel unwanted creatures by amplifying collision sound waves. Cool. Okay, let's go try this thing out. So yeah, if you go left, you can get the uh, Fumper blueprint, but if you go right, I think this is the way to uh, the big open area. Which is also where the Ice Worms are. So, I'm just gonna put this right here. Oh, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it gonna do a thing? It's doing a thing. I don't think there's any ice worms in this area. Also, apparently, we can scan this. Okay, so you're there. I'll just chill around this corner for a minute. I want to try this before sunset. Well, I mean, it is sunset. I want to try it before night. Okay, we're back to daytime. Let's try this again. Ice worm located. Okay. Oh, jeez. He. Oh, my legs. Hey, how's it going, man? You good? Ah. Hey, chill. I just want to put this down. I, I just want to put this down. There, see? That's all I wanted to do. Now, let's see this thing in action. It's doing a thing. 
Whoa. Can we see that again, please? Okay, so I'm not actually sure if it does attack the Thumper. Um, I feel like we would have seen it by now if it did attack. I don't know. If it does attack, uh, cool. If it doesn't, also cool, I guess. Let's pick this thing up and uh, get a move on. Let's go do other things, like finding that uh, hidden antidote. Well, that's just rude. You are big. Hey, what? Oi! Shoot! Okay, so uh, we're back in the area I said I'd explore in my own time a couple episodes ago. I think whatever we're after is actually in this area. So, uh, let's get searching. Is this the place? It looks interesting. I'm hoping this is the place because I have been on a lot of searching. Guys, can you, like... Can you just go? Shoo. Shoo. I'm busy. No, 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 no. Go on. I'm busy. Go back that way. Okay. I think this is the place. This has got to be the place. I've searched so many of these caves. Oh, come on. I'm busy. Shoo! Be gone! They really don't want me in here, do they? That looks like it. Sam must have stashed this here. She was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. Okay. We got the antidote. I can hear you above me. Antidote. Finally, we found it. Okay. What do we actually have to do to craft it? Okay, that's fine. That's easy. Let's go do it. Okay. We have the resources. Antidote. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go cure ourselves a frozen leviathan. Okay. Here we go. Suspense, you know. Ba da 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 Oh, cool. Begin injection. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. 
Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Okay. Why? Well, I wasn't quite expecting uh, that grand of a speech, to be honest. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that chapter of this story is closed then. We've, uh, yeah, we completed uh, Sam's mission. And with that, uh, you know, the completion of that mission, as this uh, audio log says, uh, her memory will live on through that. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. That's, yeah, okay, cool. I, I don't know how to uh, respond to that other than, yeah, that's Sam's mission complete. Good stuff. And the frozen leviathan's been cured. Disease, uh, well, stopped. Cool. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's continue on with Alan's mission, I guess. Farewell, Sam. You've done good. Alright, let's head back to base. I don't know why, but this place just feels kind Dangerous of different. weather approaching. Seek shelter. Not anymore, it doesn't. But no, it's uh, felt very calm. And we're back. I think we've done quite a bit so far. And actually, we've come to a bit of a uh, natural stopping point. So I think on that note, we can leave it there for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.